Welcome to the second of our Proudfoot 75th birthday broadcasts. I'm Sinjin Cameron. I'm the managing partner for the UK and Asia. Before I dive into the topic of short interval control, let me wind back the clock. Before World War II, Alexander Proudfoot worked for one of the few known strategy consultancies. He came to the conclusion that the firm had very bright people selling very detailed and very expensive research. Good reports, but primarily to provide cover to CEOs and CFOs that needed to justify the decisions they wanted to take. In 1946, he came to appreciate that the biggest gap was the ability to take these excellent reports from the bookshelf and apply them to business. So he set up a new firm in his own name on the premise that consultants need to add more value than just generate bright ideas. The firm of Alexander Proudfoot launched with the founding principle that we will work with our clients and help them to implement strategies and deliver the results through the application of disciplined execution and not just create the strategies. To deliver these results, he created an implementation methodology, which at its core relied on three elements. Firstly, people engagement for implementing the changes sustainably. Today, this is at the heart of our people solutions offer and heads up leadership. Secondly, process improvement to streamline and simplify work by eliminating obvious and hidden lost time, such as rework, duplication of tasks, delays, waiting for material, tools commonly deployed today on lean projects. This was also the birth of the very first brown paper map used in a Chicago paper mill in 1946. Alex couldn't find a big enough piece of writing paper to document the processes, so he pinned some of the client's product on the wall. We now apply the advanced concepts of this in our aerial mapping toolkit. Thirdly, the management operating system which drives the pulse of the business from annual forecasts to daily tasks on the shop floor. The prime concept of short interval control is the foundation of an effective management operating system. Let me tell you a little bit about the origins and importance of short interval control. Alexander Proudfoot was a great reader of the classics and from 3,500 years ago, Euripides, the Greek playwright said, for the lack of a nail, the horseshoe was lost. For the lack of a shoe, the leg was lost. For the lack of the leg, the horse was lost. For the lack of a horse, the general was lost. For the lack of a general, the war was lost. The story highlighting the importance of paying attention to the smallest details that impact the big picture. In his time in the military during the war, he had observed firsthand the critical importance of detailed planning throughout the logistics supply lines across the entire theater of battle. He also paid great attention to General Patton, who credited the non-commissioned officers and the sergeants with winning the war. It was a long, hard slog, and it was the sergeant's ability to keep moving and organizing the troops and equipment, and the influence they could bring to bear working closely with the troops on the ground to address all the smallest details and to keep inspiring the men hour by hour and day by day. He brought this experience back to Chicago to apply to businesses as he developed the concepts of short interval scheduling to be able to get the right thing in the right place at the right time and in the right quantity. The ability to monitor progress on a short interval basis against the schedule was critically important, so when you're getting off target you can take corrective action. This was a long time ago and even before spreadsheets but still he used simple tools to organize the work and measure the work. This became the control element in short interval control. Short interval control drives you to the realization that to control the whole, you must control each part. In practice, this principle is accomplished by defining a workload quantitatively and then scheduling and measuring the accomplishment of the work hour by hour, function by function, man by man and machine by machine. Remembering well the lessons learned by General Patton, 
who relied on his sergeants to deliver against the plan. Alexander Proudfoot identified the key individual in this business setting to be the first line supervisor, who's responsible and is in the best position to make the management's objectives become reality. In our 75 year history, we're proud to have coached more than a million junior managers and supervisors in their workplace. The inevitable result of the short interval control philosophy is the identification and resolution of innumerable, often small, operating problems. Effective and timely problem correction results in smoother workflow and reduced costs. Today, 75 years on, Proudfoot still embeds the principles of short interval control within our transformation programs. We also still believe in the importance of the first line level of supervision and focus much of our attention on engaging the organization from the bottom up in order to successfully deliver the top down aspirational strategies. Our company, our teams and our clients are embedding the philosophy of heads up leadership to engage infuse and energize organizations by practicing the principles of 1530. Check in, not check up once a day to support your staff. Have a more detailed discussion once a week to identify and address recurring issues and have a formal review once a month to agree and assess against targets and aspirations. I'm sure heads up leadership and 1530 will be a topic for a future discussion. In the meantime, Pay attention to the details and the results will follow. Please stay well and stay safe.